Hey amazing hackers, I'm Tor Hat from HM Cyber Academy. We're gonna continue with our incredible Narnia series. Here, you're gonna learn format string vulnerability or you will die trying. So let's get started. We have completed Narnia 6, now we have to check Narnia 7. Alright, so let's get to cd slash Narnia. These are the Narnia 7 files. So let's execute Narnia 7. Okay, so this is the usage. So you have to give some buffer into this. So let's give some buffer and let's see what happens. There seems to be having a good function. There seems to be having a hacked function. And these seems to be their pointers. And there seems to be some PTRF function which points to this location. This is something that we don't know yet. Okay, so we'll try to find out what that is. Let's open this file at this. So these are the headers. There is a good function. There is a hacked function and there is a vuln function which accepts some argument and if you scroll down here is the main function so this main function also accepts an argument and if there are no arguments it's gonna print the usage and exit over here okay if some argument is given then this statement will be skipped and it is gonna exit to vuln function okay so vuln function will start executing from here and there is a buffer and there is a pointer to a function ptrf which returns an int the mem set of buffer is initially set to 0 which means initially all of these characters are 0 once that is done it's gonna print good function and the pointer to the good function and hacked function and pointer to the hacked function okay so this good function is going into this ptrf which means the memory location of ptrf and good function should be same okay so we have already seen that over here so this one and this one are same all right so once that is done it's going to print before ptrf function this is the pointer of ptrf and this is the pointer of pointer of ptrf okay so that's what this means so once that is done it's gonna print i guess you want to come to hacked function and then it's gonna sleep for two seconds and then this good function is again sent to ptrf and there is sn printf which accepts some buffer and there is a size of buffer and there is format that it can accept so as you can see this argument is the format itself and if you go to the main function also it exits with the argument of 1 which means the argument that we are giving is going to one function and this one function is going to send this to the format okay so this is where we have control okay so this is where the vulnerability is also so once everything is done it's going to return this function so let's see what this good function does the good function just prints out this data okay so welcome to good function but i said the hacked function and then standard output whatever is there and what does this hacked function do so this hacked function says way to go and then it flushes out standard output and then get this effect to user id and then set this effect to user id and then gives us a shell okay so what we have to do is we have to use this format string to change the pointer of ptrf from good function to hacked function once it returns it's gonna return hacked function okay not good function so that is what we need to do here so this kind of vulnerability is called format string vulnerability since we can access this good function through ptrf we have to overwrite the memory location of ptrf from good function to hacked function so let's see how we can do that so gdb narnia 7 and yes continue we know that the vulnerability is in vuln function okay so not in main function so what we have to do is we have to disassemble vuln okay so let's see what happens so you already know this so this mem set is going to make all the buffer to zero and then it's going to print the usage and then it's going to print some other values and then it's going to sleep for two seconds and then it's gonna say sn printf so this is where all of the magic happens so we'll just set a breakpoint just after this okay right here so to do that we have to say break at 1 plus 151 okay so make sure it is 1 
okay not main okay so that's where people make mistakes so we are working on one function not main function so we will run with some random values so something like a a a a so examine 20 words of memory from stack pointer okay so we can see that a a a a is located here okay at the start of the buffer and rest everything is set to zero so let's pick some other memory location because all of them are set to zero so let's pick this location which is this location and try to do some testing here okay so what we will essentially do is we are going to replace this a a with this memory location okay so let's see what happens so to do that we'll just craft the payload over here subshell echo hyphen e and at the memory location this right so we have to say backslash xcc backslash xd2 backslash xff backslash sff okay so we have to write this in little endian format so once this is done we have to specify the format okay sn printf needs some format so we're going to say percentage x is the format and then we're also going to say percentage n so let's see what happens let's run this okay so let's start it from the beginning and we hit the breakpoint okay so let's go up let's see the stack and here we can see that instead of 41414141 this time we have the memory location okay and in this particular memory location we have 0xb so let's do some test in some other memory location and see what happens okay so instead of cc we'll try to give dc okay so let's go up and instead of cc we'll give dc okay so start from the beginning and let's go up and here as you can see this is changed to dc as usual but in this dc location this 0b exists so basically if we give certain memory location and if we try to give some data so that data is going to be entering into this particular location okay since this ptr function is pointing to this good function so let's try to change this ptrf location which is this and in this location let's try to give this value okay so this is in hex format so we have to change it into decimal format and then give it so that once it gets into memory it will be hex format okay so let's see what happens if you type in google hex to decimal so you can get one of those urls like this okay so let's copy this and enter hex numbers and convert it so this is the value that we got okay copy this and let's go back and let's go up so this is the payload and this is where we are trying to convert into hex right we'll just paste it over here so if you remember percentage x so it will actually convert these values into hex here if you see convert integer to hex okay so we are given some integer and this will convert it into hex okay so once it converts it will send it to this location okay which is this location right now so let's see what happens so let's go into the memory this is same as usual this is that memory location and in this memory location there is something else and rest everything is 20 20 20 20 so if you remember what 20 is so if you just zoom out this is actually a space character okay so we know that this percentage x if we did not mention anything or any sign or plus or minus so it will just give all the space characters so this is the one so if you do not give plus or minus it's going to say space character once that is done let's see what this is so to do that we'll say x location this okay so that location is pointed to hat function so basically we have overrated this location into hat function okay but we have to overwrite this location to hat function okay so we can do that pretty easily right so we have to say d2 and a8 okay so let's do that start from the beginning we hit a breakpoint we'll just continue and look at this where you go 
detaching after v4 from child process this and we got a shell so let's use the same payload and run it outside gdb so exit and exit and narnia 7 this and let's see what happens okay so we did not get a shell why is that because the memory location has changed from a8 to d8 okay so we need to check what happens inside gdb and outside gdb okay so if we change this a8 to d8 so we should get a shell okay so d8 and look what we got a shell so who am i narnia 8 so let's get the password cat all right we got the flag so i hope you get it and i'll see you guys in the next one